Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. In the last episode we gained access to the Tumba facility and after having a poke around we found a a recording, a memory recording that showed that Isaac Johansson uh, seemed to have uh, stayed behind and did not join outward in its exodus from the moon. But um, yeah, Sarah seems to have been able to meet Johansson when, when she came here to Tumbau seven days after the blackout. And I think six days after the exodus? Huh. Anyways, we have now gained access to the crew quarters. And from the little cat scene at the end of the last episode, we saw that there seem to be evil twins of AZ patrolling the corridors. Look at that, how many body bags. MPT online. MPT transmits power from moon to earth. The microwave power transmission, MPT, generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth, fueled by helium-3 harvested on the Moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to Earth. I, I, I believe we've already read that, right? That was us. We made it work. Yeah. <laughs> but hmm. wait a second look at this AZ that's us here's you here's me huh anyways but where where do these corpses come from what what happened here what went down here at Tambo a mystery. Okay, now we're at three. Crew quarters, sleeping quarters, canteen. And we need to reach the control center, which is in four. Reactor overlook, reactor control center, which is here. Six is monorail bay, transport depot. Okay. Okay, we've got one here, we've got one there. Where else? We've got one patrolling there, I believe? No, two patrolling there. Okay. Well, good thing they don't look up, right? This is a dead end, apparently. Mm. 
run. Okay. So maybe. No! No! Why? Leave us be! Can we not jump up here? Come on, come on! Oh no, no way! Okay. What is going on? You guys calm your base? No, no, you don't see us. You don't see us, you have no clue that we are here. Chill your base, mate. Maybe we jump up there? But what would that give us? What would that do for us? Not much, I'd say. What can we do from up here? Nothing. We're just out of sight, right? Nothing else. Shh. Okay. And now? No one sees us, right? Okay, are we in the clear now? Looking good, looking good. Great, um, this door is locked. Probably not for long, once we figure it out, out how to open it. Ouch, yeah, no, maybe we don't take this door. Oh, who opened that door for us now? Find a different way to exit crew quarters. Yeah, we will, but this door was just closed just a second ago. Who opened it? And are there any cameras around again? Yeah, there's a camera. So maybe one of them, either Sarah or maintenance, sleeping quarters, either Sarah or Isaac are still alive and watching us maybe via the cameras. I don't know. Just guessing here. Just doing some guesswork. So maintenance. Main this is storage. Mr. Johansson, wait up! The control room's closed. Hey! Once we cross the corridor... Will you listen to me? The tremors are getting worse. If we don't do something about... We just went past a bunch of destroyed ASEs and what looked an awful lot like body bags. What happened? Now's not the time. Well, when is the you time, eh? People. Enough! You don't know what you're talking about. No, that's right. I don't. I don't know why the MPT shut down, and I don't know why the colony vanished overnight. Reactor capacity at 8%. We have to focus on the reactor. Our people were killed here, Isaac. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Oh, yeah? Outwards. How did, was it supposed to go? Would have saved everybody. What, by just packing up and leaving Earth? That's a terrible plan, even by MacArthur standards. Outward left us all to rot. You don't even care. Don't you? Don't you dare. Oh, yes, we dare. I've dedicated my life to sustaining Earth, even after it killed my wife. Oh, Earth didn't my kill your wife. My still down on that godforsaken rock. Then how could you leave her behind? Exactly. Does she even know? No, she doesn't. Look, there's still time to fix this. We can fix the MPT. You could be a hero. Look around. Just for one Ms. day. Baker. There are no heroes here. They're gone. Now get a move on. Mm-hmm. Rebellion. As they make their way to the reactor control center, Sarah bears witness to the aftermath of a riot. Furious, she demands answers from Isaac. Tensions rise and Isaac reveals a personal secret. 
Meanwhile, the reactor becomes more and more unstable. Recorded September 30th, 2054, seven days and seven minutes after the blackout. Hmm, a rebellion? But why? Why would they rebel? Okay, an AZ sphincter. Okay, that gives us access to somewhere in that direction. So we came from here. What's up here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The remains of a walkway. to okay th so this is an elevator then and we need to load that elevator with something heavy in order to push it through that barrier huh what's what's going on in here hey okay. oh this is the oh okay yeah 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 we've we've been in here mhm mm okay so maintenance elevator Sleeping quarters, backup power. What would we... What would it do? What would we gain? Okay, yes. Okay. So... What's back here? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. We don't want... Oh, bugger. Do we need something from here? And if so, what? And how would we even get anything past these AZs? Hmm. Let's switch batteries and see what that what this get us. What this gets us. Probably access to the sleeping quarters. Yes, I know. But um, apart from that, oh, oh. Okay. This is locked down now. So we need to drop down here, maybe. Just drop down here. No, we can't. Hmm. Don't tell me we need to drop down to these lunatic AC units. Okay, there's only one way to get there again. We need to go this way and make our way through these units again.
Okay. All right. Made it. I didn't take you for someone who's into comics. They remind me of home. Of what we're doing this for. Reactor capacity at 4%. Hmm. You know, my brother used to love Moon Man. He was really into these stories. He, um, he was born ill. Chronically. When I joined the WSA, he thought I was giving up on him. But without the MPT's energy, there's no way the clinic could keep his treatment going. It's the only way I could help him, even if he'd hate me for it. We try to help them. The people we love. We do what we must to keep them safe. Even if they don't understand. Hmm. And sometimes we're... We're wrong. I brought my daughter, Kathy, here. Hmm. Was a mistake. She's a cryo now. Isaac? You said your daughter lives on Earth. That's Claire. Uh, my other daughter. We... we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Get some sleep. We try again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Still unable to break through the reactor's mainframe security protocols put in place by MacArthur, Sarah and Isaac take a break. With the reactor sending out increasingly violent tremors through the facility, they find themselves reminded of what they are fighting for and open up to each other about their families. Recorded October 3rd, 2054. Hmm, there's a couple of days between the last recordings. So what happened in between? Can we get through here? No? Okay. Let's get back in here then. Any more murderous ASE units around? No? Good. So what's here? Moon Man, the movie. Star Maker. Mm -hmm. Movie night. Star Maker or Moon Man. Monday in auditorium. Vote in entrance hall. Mm hmm. From Moondust to MPT, Guidelines for Tumbo Operators, written by Dr. A. Gua Guari Gua Guala? Guata? Dr. A. Guari Guata. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, I probably am. Tailored specifically for fresh minds joining the lunar colony, this comprehensive guide provides step-by-step -step insight into the answer to the great energy crisis. As the only official guidebook to the MPT, From Moondus to MPT contains everything you need to know about the mining and production of helium-3, how the reactor processes it into energy, and how the MPT transmits the energy to Earth. Hmm. Okay. Probably did come in handy when they had to repair the reactor. Sarah, for any day-to-day -day things, use 8662 to get into the storeroom, Isaac. Hmm. Okay, yeah. 8662. What's this? Moon Man! New Flame! Eager to fulfill his mission, the astronaut stirs a sleeping giant. And as his perilous voyage comes to a stunning climax, he finds that where some journeys end, others begin. Okay. Well, that's ominous. So far, those comics <laughs> actually described what we were doing and what we're up to. Um, actually, here in the in in the game world, but that's ominous. So, one journey ends, another begins. Does that mean we will be leaving the moon for wherever outward went? 
Oh, let's have a... Oh, what's... what's this then? Private whiteboard. Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, a whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson's findings reveal a sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium-3 on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. Yeah, well, obviously. Target 100% MPT output times 5 to 25. 20% 20 MPT coverage. Currently, currently output equals 40 plus 5 outward finished. Exceeds production capacity. Runs out of runs at a finite amount of helium-3 on moon too fast can't reach coverage percentage can't sustain minimum percentage unsustainable yeah but the consequence is not well let's just bugger off then and leave earth to run its course energy equations tumba reactor MPT, Pearson, Earth. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, yeah, we've been in here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, let's have a look down this corridor. Oh. Happened there. Looks like a ready made entrance for you, AZ. So, yeah, let's send you up there. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And what's on the other side? Oh, nothing. Okay, we need to go through here. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh. So... What's going on here, then? little iPod or what's this supposed to be? Alon. <laughs> okay. Um bu -bu bum Yeah, let's interact with you. Mm-hmm. What's going on here? Oh and this is the eight six six two pad. We need to okay, good. Sorry guys, I have to make sure we get our steps in for today. <laughs> okay. Voila. Reactor capacity at 3%. We're running out of time. There has to be something we've overlooked. We've checked the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah, it's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up. For centuries. Mm. The MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. What do we tell the people back on Earth? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Hmm. MacArthur 
ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. Said the reactor was dangerous. What? The people followed him? They followed orders. Uh, but some didn't trust him. They resisted. It... Uh, it, it escalated. But what was his reasoning? Even crashed a monorail. What about the AZs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. No, he's Never a dictator. Never forget this about William MacArthur. He won't bat an eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. The greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. The greater Whatever good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I mean, MacArthur says that reactor is is dangerous. But how so? What what's his reasoning behind it? <laughs> what a loony. Jeez. Okay. Um. Yeah. The greater good. While only a small amount of fuel left inside the reactor, uncertainty creeps in and sparks a discussion about Earth. Isaac is finally ready to talk about what went down at the Tumbo facility when the outward plan was executed. Recorded October 4th, 2054. Hmm. So, but, yeah, but he's neglecting his own role in all of this. I mean, first it sounded like he was, oh, and this is our... This is the thing we need. This is the weight we need. Where do we push this? Wait, let me, let's just first see. Okay, we need to, okay, through here. And then through here. And maybe AZ will assist. is maybe not the best the bestest option pushing is far more practical okay need to switch batteries in order to open that door again but uh, we weren't done here or are we done here now Hmm. Oh, we can, oh, we can inspect it. Sarah Baker. It's hers. So where is she? If she's like me, then she's not leaving the house without music. I certainly am not. Anything else we missed here? Anything up here? No. What, what's this? Toothbrushes. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's switch batteries again. Oh, uh, we need to... How do we do that? AZ? Okay, through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, oh, you're in the, inside the, inside the elevator now. Easy. Oh, but the elevator is not powered, and so this does not work yet. Okay, so we need to find a way back to, into this room. Don't tell me we need to go through that ASE unit infested. Yeah, we do. Actually, why even ask, Chris? Why even ask if you know the answer already? Okay, can we get from here up there? Maybe jumping on this railing and then jump up there? No, oh, 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 shoot. 
was a tight one. How do we get up there? No, no, don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Bugger off. Find someone else to play with. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Off you go. So, but how do we get up there without the power being on? Hmm. Hmm. Was there a way through here? Maybe up there? Hmm. Hmm. What, what are we missing? platform back there maybe that has something to do with it huh. hmm, 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 hmm. we need to get up there bugger well um or maybe not Aha! And here we are. Okay, great. Mystery solved. Um, so, yeah. Let's take a break here, and when we come back, we will switch batteries, and we will activate this elevator, and then um, load the elevator with that, um, yeah, with that trolley, with that weight we need in order to break through onto the other side. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if so, maybe... Give it a like, share, or even subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, AC and I hope you have a splendid day, and we hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.